Lions TV, full time from Calmont Road. It finishes in the Professional Development League. Mill under 23s, Neil Ipswich under 23s won. Ipswich win it with literally, literally the last kick of the game. And it's a it's a goal that Ryan Sanford isn't going to want to hear about ever again or think about. But unfortunately, he's going to have to. It was a, I was going to say it was a nothing game. It wasn't a nothing game. It was just definitely not a game where there was a lot of goal mouth action or exciting points to talk about. You can credit Ipswich for that as well, though, because they provided a lot more of a tough test than other games we've had at Calmont Road in recent weeks. Colchester, we beat 6-1. Uh, another team, I can't even remember who it was, but they didn't, they didn't try and cross the halfway line, so they don't deserve a mention. And today, Ipswich had a strong side out. Always a good professional development team anyway. And they had three first-team players, players in and around the first team. I think um, their right-back apparently is 28. Another guy's played over 100 games for their first team. So they did definitely provide a, a tougher test. And that was better for the back three today because... Uh, as, as you know, Hayden Muller, great player. I thought he looked very assured today on the ball. But they don't always have loads to do where we're so attacking and forward thinking. On a separate note, which I want to mention before I forget, Gary Rowett was there with Adam Barrett and watched the entire 90 minutes today. Um, I kept me down a little bit as I was standing there. But um, no, all jokes aside, the gaffer was there with Adam Barrett. He doesn't often watch the 23s from what I've seen. I've seen him watch the first half an hour, 45 minutes maybe. Today, Gary Rowett watched the entire 90 minutes with his assistant. So... Where do I stand on that? Is he doing it because maybe he's finally thinking, do you know what, we, we can't get players through the door. Is there actually anything in these 23s that I can take you know, to, to have a look at and maybe going forward? I'll be honest, on the showing that you saw today, no one probably bowled him over. Let's go through the team. It was Ryan Sanford in goal. Three centre-backs were Bessart, Topolodge, Alex Mitchell and Hayden Muller. It was Dan Moss, right wing-back. Junior Tienza, left wing-back. Central midfield was Sam Skeffington and Ruben Duncan. And then you had Tyler Berry on the right, Nana Boateng on the left, although they kept switching. And up front, as a lone striker, George Alexander. Uh, no subs until late on in the game. Jaden Davis come on. You also had Abdul Malik on the bench, who didn't come on. And Sean O'Brien didn't come on or play. And he's he scored a few goals, Sean O'Brien. I like the look of him. But obviously, I think with Tyler Berry dropping back out of the first team and needing game time, Sean O'Brien was a sacrificial lamb in this instance. And as I said, there was very... Few goal mouth incidents to talk about. It was a game with few chances. I'm not going to lie. Um, the only one I noticed, Junior Tienza finding to the side netting early on when he should have shown more composure. After that, a free kick from Ruben Duncan over the wall. Their goalkeeper saves it. I think it's the only save in the game he's had to make, to be honest. But Ryan Sanford didn't have a lot to do. Borderline nothing to do until the 95th minute. Um, good save from the goalkeeper. Parries it. George Alexander comes flying in. Every right and fully intention to go for the ball. Clatters the keeper. Ipswich screaming. Ref, I don't like all that, but... George was more than told to go for the ball, but the goalkeeper makes a good recovery and a brave second save and smothers the ball. And as I said, after that, you know, both teams pop the ball nice. I've got to say that. And what we'll say for the 23s as well, I'm very critical of the first team set up with the three at the back and the two central midfielders. The 23s do it, but what they do is they let skeff it and sit. And that second midfielder is usually Ruben Duncan, or if it's not, it's someone else attack-minded and they let them bomb on. Today, as I said, it didn't pay dividends. Nana Boateng looked good in flashes. Ruben Duncan with that good free kick and then another unbelievable reverse pass to pick out Sam Skeffington. You saw both sides of that today. Ten minutes later, he's trying to do Cruyff turns on the edge of his own box. Him and Tyler Berry in the same side. You know, I'm not going to criticise youth, but they're both of the similar ilk. They're very, very um, self-indulgent players. So, don't know whether it's that reason or whatever, but second half, Tyler Berry and Ruben both had good opportunities to release the ball, which they didn't. So nothing come of it at one point. Tyler Berry shoots over the bar, left footed when he had better options. Um, Nana Boateng, side knitting at one point. I was really rooting for, for Nana today. And he didn't play bad. It was just not really a lot in the final third. But I put that down to Ipswich Fielding, as I said, a stronger side. They looked strong at the back. And as the game went on, they started to see more of the ball. Uh, they got the breakthrough. <laughs> I'm going to have to get onto it. I'm trying to swerve it. I don't know why. Ryan Sanford, been at the club a very long time. I was actually standing right behind the goal that he conceded in, in the 93rd, 94th, whatever it was minute, he's not very tall as a goalkeeper. And again, if I'm Ryan Sanford, not just Ryan Sanford, but any of these 23s that have been around it a long, long time, you're never going to get in at me all, mate, so you're best off leaving. That's not, you know, it's not a, a, a harsh criticism. It's a little bit of encouragement. There's no point in being at me all. He's been there for years. Uh, he doesn't cut a very, uh, you know, he hasn't got a lot of stature in goal. He's quite short for a goalkeeper. I'd say he's about the same height as me, about 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 um, and it's a shot from distance. He goes down early. He goes down like a sack of shit, if I'm honest. And it bounces, goes over to him, and it's which win the game. So, yeah, not the best match report to bring you today. Although, you know, it was an interesting game to watch, and it would have been a better test for the players than to be rolling Team 6-1 that don't want to even be there. 
Um, Railway on the sideline has, has, has confused me and intrigued me. I want to know more about that. Maybe he does finally think, look, I'm going to have to try and have a look into this, dip into this 23 and see if there's anyone that I can take. On reflection of that game, is there anyone he can take? I'd be tempted for the FA Cup game, Bristol City. Um, Hayden Muller's got to start. I'll get George Alexander in there as well, and I'll take none of both. Maybe not those two to start with an interest of getting them involved at some point. Because these players, we as I keep saying, we've got this production line where we win the under-18s division. We win the under-23s division. The amount of first-team players, percentage-wise, that gets into the first team is not very good. I was saying this today to someone I was talking to at the ground. I would rather come bottom of the under-23s league, because let's be honest, it don't fucking matter where you're coming at. You're not, you know, it's, it's no real importance. It's, it's just it's just to develop your players. I'd rather come bottom of that league, loan out Boateng, loan out Hayden Muller, loan out George Alexander, get them out to clubs and do and hope they progress like Danny McNamara has than win a 23s league. You've got to look somewhere along the line, this production line is breaking down. As I say, we win the 18s league, we win the 23s league last year, done the double. We always do well in the youth football, so why do we not then kick on with that? Something's breaking down, someone's not right somewhere along the line. So that is your lot for this under 23s match report. I've tried to stretch it as much as I can, but I think that's about me done. 1-0 Ipswich winning with the last kick of the game. Not the best, most entertaining game I've ever been to, but it's just nice to get out and get down. I'm surprised the more you don't get down there, obviously Bromley, a lot of Mill fans in the Bromley area, can't go to any football matches at the minute, a lot of people aren't at work or furloughed, and you can watch comfortably from outside at Calmont Road, no no problems at all, a lot of people do it, but I'm surprised a lot more aren't doing it, so if you get a chance, get down there, I think we're at home again next Tuesday to QPR, so that could be an interesting one, and that's your lot, I'll be live streaming, what day is it today, Monday, Monday club's up, to, up later on tonight, I was up early filming that one this morning, and then tomorrow, live stream Tuesday, live stream Wednesday, loads going on all day, every day. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.